It's quite simple, Steeler Nation. George Pickens just needs to do better. Now, in this video, I was going to talk about or show quotes about Mike Tomlin, Joan Warren, Robinson, all these guys and the guys in the media land that are talking about the George Pickens situation. Then I thought to myself, you know what? No, I'm just going to speak from the heart. And to be honest, it's simple. It's really simple. And I'm starting to lose a tiny bit of faith in the same way that, that I did with Claypool. I like Claypool when he first came out as a rookie. What, 11 TDs and Big Ben going on fire, 11 no, losing never heard of her. I'm losing a little bit of faith in George Pickens. However, I know he's a good player. I know he's very skillful. And I can't wait to see him play this weekend against the Bengals and hopefully turn this little drama around. But George Pickens made this drama. The media is always going to do what they're going to do. They're going to fish for small little little hooks and grab this, bait that, and next minute it turns from one little thing into a huge thing. That Pat McAfee is talking about it. Every single guy in the NFL media is talking about this and the reason that like, it looked bad. It looked really bad that George Pickens wasn't protecting or going or blocking for Joan Warren in that touchdown. That's bad. Now, one simple answer. Like I said, Warren's talked about it. Mike Thomas talked about it. You've probably already heard what they've had to say in their quotes. One simple answer. All George Pickens had to do and say in that question, why didn't you block or what, what was your motive for not blocking or, you know, why, what was the reason for not blocking downfield for Joe and Warren? Instead of giving us the answer that was, oh, I don't want to get injured. I don't want to get hurt. And, you know, I've seen the Tank Dell situation. Just take accountability and say you stuffed up. Just say, my bad, guys, I stuffed up. I should be there for my teammate, that being Jalen Warren. I'm a good blocker in this league. I've showcased that in previous um, previous season in my rookie year. Look on tape. You've seen me how physical I can be. That's my bad. You know, I, I accept responsibility for not blocking for my teammate, and next time I'll do better. That's it. If George Pickens said that, then none of this would be occurring right now with the losing the locker room. My, it's Mike Tomlin's fault. It's the Rooney's fault. It's Omar Khan's fault. None of this would be happening. George Pickens has to, to play the, the media game. And he also has to accept a responsibility and accountability for his actions. The interception didn't look good, right? He ran the opposite way while the other bloke with the ball ran almost, you know, right to the left and didn't chase him. But with the block and what's the, everyone's talking about the block and Jalen Warren and, 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 and the TD that could have been, and they did, did score on that drive anyway, but it's simple. When you're in front of the media, just accept responsibility, take action, say it was your fault, move on and try and be the best that you can be, Right. Doesn't make sense to me. That's why I'm losing a tiny bit of faith in George Pickens. Is he doing this on purpose? Is George Pickens trying to get under the media's skin to maybe cause a bit of a rift here? Maybe he's trying to get a trade next year, or maybe he doesn't feel totally happy because, as you see on film, he's frustrated. He's he's venting. He's annoyed. He's not getting the football. It's not going the George Pickens way, right? Did he quit on his teammates? Did he quit on the play? Quite possibly. If he did quit on the play and it's not like him and he can bounce back, the one simple thing he can do is take action, responsibility, and say, I stuffed up, my fault. The next game that I play, I won't take a rep off. I'm here for my team. I'm here for Kenny Pickett, uh, Mason Rudolph, the O-line. I'm here to block for everyone. I'm here to play the best that I can play. And I'm also here for my teammate, Joe and Warren. And next time, yes, I stuffed up. Next time, I should go in there. And continue the block, and, and next time we're going to get uh, Jalen Warren to score a TD. Anyways, that's just my rule. That's just like my overall thought. Overall thought, you're stuffed up, take responsibility, have accountability for what happened, and apologize or say it was my bad and move on. George didn't do that. George didn't do that. He talked about being injured uh, or potential being injured. Then he also blamed the media. And now here we here's where we are with George, where a lot of fans are losing faith, myself included, a little bit saying, man, I hope he can turn it around because he's a very skillful player, but we don't need more drama in the Steelers, Steelers locker room.